Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team ban. The only difference is the Tusk is banned instead of Oracle, right? Oh no, Oracle's banned on Nygma side this time. Wait, so hang on. We We're on a more of a early game oriented. And Rubik. <laughs> exact same lineup from Chicken Fighters, man. This, this is the kind of a thing that Poppy was doing. Yeah. Like, he was so stubborn, one of the reasons why he's uh, one of the best, if not the best, captain in the world. Yeah, yeah very interesting. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that huh is is what everyone in chat and what everyone watching is thinking. Huh. <laughs> I would still prefer to put the razor on the safe lane and have something on the mid like either storm or you get ember against the PL. Also, storm very good game. They have no insta lockdown besides Rubik's lift, and I don't think that's enough. What the actual heck? 35 seconds, chicken fighters, come on, show us, show us a Spectre or something fun. <laughs> and yes, Spectre is a fun hero. Rush Radiance, win game. I'm just looking at the Sniper and Bounty Hunter. Oh. Choose your Meepo? So Nigma steal the PL from Chicken Fighters, and then Chicken Fighters like, right, we're gonna take Meepo and show you what we're really doing. Supreme Meepo, coming out as that last pick from Chicken Fighters. Hey, it's a real great Meepo game against PL against Bounty Sniper Rubik. Like Mars is maybe the only one who can withstand the Meepo. It is position five sniper. <laughs> no freaking way. I mean, it's a I tried, it in pub. I tried playing position five four sniper in pubs. You harass people a lot. Do you buy Blightstone? You, you can, yes. In the laning stage, it's just extremely effective. That seems Mind pretty cool. Bounty. Charlie will be the Razor. So Bounty Hunter will not do that much in this. Yeah, the take down onto Charlie's Razor. In behind the creep wave and Kuro killed the range creep. Wait, can Charlie, Charlie can TP to the tier one and maybe deny that range creep there. Let's go. He's gonna miss some experience. Not one what deny. What do they want to do? One CS. They need to help. Miracle on the top lane. GH bringing a sentry wants to get the bounty rune, and he's gonna deward that high ground observer. So is is Kuro the three and my control the four now? Like, do we see a roll swap? No, it looks like MC is... He'll get the farm. He is getting the farm, yeah. You're right. I was just wondering there, because it looked potentially like the roll swap was happening. Seneco going to get tapped around a little bit by the bounty hunter. And Charlie looks like, even though he did get first blooded, not too bothered about it. i got to look into mid, though. Supreme Meepo, of course, against Weeha, the notorious Meepo player on the Mars. Should have a pretty good idea in how to combat Meepo's strengths and does have to wait to level 4 now to get that divided we stand. And then top lane Phoenix Axe up against the PL Rubik. A pretty weak lane it feels like for Nigma. Compared to the Radiant side anyway. A lot of overtime damage. Get rid of the snare. Good call up top with that damage over time from Battle Hunger and Fiery Spirit allows Chicken Fighters to get themselves on the board, but Mind Control bottom lane at the same time has taken down the Charlie Razor. Shrapnel there and the Mind Control's chase in onto Seneco's went to Wyvern at this point. The dead, I believe. Wyvern tries to TP, one charges, the spear. Oh, one gets him up to almost 100 man, but it's still 20 off. And that spear so close to getting the cancel on the TP, but Bounty Rune still there to be grabbed up. As top lane, Sableye may have overstepped his bounds, but GH doesn't go for the lift. Just Fade bolts him and sends him packing. MC, continuing to Janada steal away that gold. 
That, that hurts <laughs> Razor quite a bit. Yeah, when you're playing against melee heroes. So one of the reasons why he only puts one point in it, now he has a lot of oh, we... damage from Shuriken. We knows exactly where this Meepo is meant to be. Finds a solo pickoff on Supreme and a great rotation from Wii. Era is still sticking around. Has the two points in Fire Spirits and looks to grab that Arcane Rune under the nose of Wii who misses the spear. He was trying to latch him up to the tree there. Very close, but off the money. He got the kill on Meepo. That's what matters. Every single time you kill here, like a Meepo, DA, who can flash farm. You benefit so much more from killing them and you are slowing their snowball potential dire structures are fortified a miracle dips back into jungle doesn't want to face off against the uh, saber light axe uh, this gives gh a lot of face time with the creeps as well get him a little closer to that level six the boots of course vital on rubik Piel Illusion gonna scout out Saberlight. Axe getting rotated on by Wee's Mars. Sol Ring ready, the lift into Spear, but a good call from Saberlight. Stops that initiation, and with his phase boots, he's out of there. I don't think they would have gotten the kill anyway. Saberlight, very tanky. A lot of armor, phase boots. Arena was not ready. So Bounty Hunter, they... they Dodged the bottom lane. There, no one is at the bottom. Where is Sniper? His mid lane now. Look at me. I'm your carry now. <laughs> mid lane Sniper. My control sniping out the couriers. Scouting Meepo. As Phoenix holds mid, we is coming back in again. Looking for this Supreme Meepo. Under a dire observer ward being seen every step of the way. He's got Poof to try and escape. But they're holding on to both Shuriken and Spear. A Seneca with Era. Forcing back Nigma, And this excursion into the Radiant Jungle, it will come to nothing. Very well done by the Radiant supports. Charlie's even... <laughs> he's coming in here, like, hello. I don't want to get involved. Let me hit people. Come on. Come on. Mind control. Getting dusted up. There's an Illusion Rune popped. Trying to get him out of danger with the one charges. But Charlie shuts it all down. And the killing spree taken away from MC. Oh, Saberlight on the top lane almost drops to GH. Such a weird game. Like, what do you do with Bounty and Sniper? They were trying to invade the enemy jungle. They set up some vision so they can see where Meepo is farming. Try to kill him. Mars. Like, all these heroes are very good at rotating Bounty and Invis, scouting things out. Meanwhile, Phantom Lancer is just farming. He picked up the Iron Talon, one of the better ones you can get... Uh, it was such a shit item when it first came out. It really was. No one wanted to touch it. Down bottom. We gets the pick off on Charlie. Sableite's coming in here with a battle hunger and a call onto mind control. Into the creep camp. Looking for spins, but gets none. Literally no spins. Hello, Sableite. There we, there we go. Oh, a bit unlucky there for him, but he'll clear out some neutrals. As this creates even more space for Supreme to continue farming. Nine minutes in, he's at 100 CS. Net worth, four and a half thousand. Meepo's accelerating, and you've got to be very worried about that as Enigma. Level nine on Supreme as well. And it's not just about him accelerating, right? You're giving space to Era to get levels. Charlie's doing okay, but it's not amazing for the Razor. Enigma does not care. They have Sniper free farming on the mid lane, 19 CS. <laughs> About You're an level ape. six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. I'll listen to you. What's, what's happening with Meepo? He's finding mind control. Net him up. We can't really do anything to save his buddy there. As Era with Suneko. Looking for the Miracle PL. A double damage rune has spawned down bottom spot. The sniper, the mid carry. Sniper with yes, a double damage rune. He's gonna turn. No, he's gonna run away. They're going to take out Miracle, though, and Chicken Fighters getting some big kills. Two down with no response from Nigma, And they're going to net up Wee Heart as well. Supreme keeping those ensnares going. High ground hold. 
The rest of Chicken Flight is looking to uh, turn back onto Wii, but they're not doing anything. They're just letting Supreme die. Meepo's dropped. Kuroki, this is where he comes into his own. Splinter Blast won't bounce back, and Kuroki turns to face Charlie. The double damage rune sniper. No freaking way. Spear back up, and here we're trapped. Up against the tree, and down he goes. But Charlie, is he going to get zapped? We're level six now. Assassinate. 360 HP. That's not enough. Damage. Kuroki's going to focus on Aiko instead. This should be. A couple more clicks, and it will be enough to bring him down. Oh, it's a bit tight on that one. He needed one more hit, I think. Kuroki getting a little bit... Uh, a little... I, I don't know. I Just overconfident, I guess. He thought he had it. Top. He feels a bit better here for Era. Not needing to go the Spirit Vessel, going straight into Ags as quickly as he can. Smoke from Nigma though. Sprinting through in towards Meepo. They'll catch Suneko first. So Winter's Curse no longer available. Immediate buyback from Suneko. They're looking for the turnaround fight. Meepo jumps into the arena now. We being annihilated along with Mind Control. They're down. Dunked into the ground as Nigma. It's time to turn tail and run. They're going to hide. Kuroki Sniper is out. No, he's not. He's being held in place by Suneko's Winter's Curse. I thought he was alive. But a great catch there onto three heroes as Nigma are the ones to initiate. They're the ones to smoke the surprise attack. Not working out. Nigma gets the perfect target before the fight starts. And that's Vyvern, but he was having enough money for a buyback. G8. Defender's advantage. Splinter Blast. And there's a jump call. Sableye. Chain kills onto Nigma. <laughs> Four for, uh, four for one, I guess. The buyback on the Winter Wyvern, of course. Defender's advantage for Chicken Fighters being able to TP to that Dyer's tier two mid. And all of a sudden, they're pressuring out on the map, looking for objectives. No real push onto the tier one, though, as they do try and swing Dyer's into Roshan. Mind control. Herded away from the top lane. We and Are Miracle we both in mid. Going out of the Rosh pit. Does not want to take a fight yet. They need another one or two pickoffs. BKB. Long Razor. spear. Charlie just got the BKB off and the net catching Wee. He is just obliterated by this Meepo. He doesn't stand a chance. They're focusing Sableye, but the Sunray keeps him alive. And Chicken Fighters with this Meepo looking beautiful. Mars down for 40 seconds. GH back in with a lift drag back with Static Link. Draining Charlie of all his damage, but the Winter's Curse to reset means it should only be the one death. And their primary carry. Again. Now Axe is carrying it. They want to get rid of the vision and they want to see this bounty hunter. Who killed a couple of couriers? What a sniper building. Besides that, Axe is see mana boots. Yeah, not much. Going into Arcanes. Spirit Vessel for MC coming. GH does have the Blink Ether lens. As Miracle's PL, top of the net worth, 4-2 and 5 kill score. Butterfly coming up next after that SNY. Hasn't been an amazing game for Miracle, but he's closing in on level 20. He is getting into a point where PL could look to 1v5. But in a game against Meepo, those nets are no joke, right? And he does not have a way of dispelling it. No Manta, no BKB. Mind control. What is he playing? He's just playing I Kill the Couriers game right now. Sableye, Era, jump onto Wii. Quick lift up from GH. And the Mars for now, gonna spear back and Arena to zone yet again, defensive. But the jump in from Supreme, past the Arena with a blink call from Rubik. Maybe keeping Wii alive, but also maybe allowing GH to die himself as Miracle Doppelganger's away from the tier one. That's gonna be two for nil and a tower take for the chicken fighters. They are really laying it on thick now. Roche. Go straight into Roche pit, take it with Meepo. You had two chances already, now go in and take it. 40 seconds without Mars and Rubik. You should not be afraid of Mind Control nor Phantom Lancer at the moment. Mind Control? Like, they have this gem. They understand that Mind Control wants to play only against the couriers. 
<laughs> the buyback from Mars, mind control's about to drop here. And they can go straight back into Roshan, it feels like, down to 2,000 HP. As we buys back, catching Charlie with a spear, Kuroki turning, assassinate in three seconds. The blink call from Sable, and onto two of them though, as Miracle's caught, his HP down to half. Doppelganger out of the ulti as the Mars Colosseum. Does zone chicken fighters out a little bit, but Supreme, with the help of the Supernova, has forced Nigma to split retreat, and they are isolated. One by one, getting picked off. A die back on Mars, and now it's Roshan. Stolen Supernova, though. Level two Supernova for Rubik. Maybe Nigma can go in. Shrapnel can scout it out, but Roshan has already fallen. No contest. You fought badly. Meepo about to finish. Full Scotty. Like they should not stop. Now is their prime time. Keep on fighting. They find mind control yet again. Less than 5,000 net worth. He truly is the pos 5 of Nigma now. He's earned up and the dust has run out. Sable out looking for the call. There's another ensnare. Dyer's They're toying with mind control in those trees. Slowly but surely. Bring him to his knees. Miracle continues farming bottom lane. Kuroki and GH both connecting down there. So they're just going to give up that top tower. Top they might have to come and defend the tier 3 though. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Supreme's Meepo. Shifting into Silver Edge, it looked like he wanted Scardi for a while. Radiance Middle Tower. But he will change things up. As GH grabs that enchanted quiver. Supernova. Getting popped out. In comes the rest of Chicken Fighters, and down goes the Rubik. Kuroki also falling as the Meepo gets the pick off in the back. I don't want to say it, but I'm not sure if Phantom Lancer can solo carry this game. Other heroes don't have that much presence. That yeah, sniper added fun. Used assassinate a couple of times with Aghanim Scepter. It's good for high ground defense. So, Sableite's axe now in a real great spot. Full blade mail delivered. On top of that blink pipe gem, any hero he jumps on, and you know, primarily he is targeting the Phantom Lancer. The blink call, then into the ensnares. Allow Supreme to shred Miracle very quickly. And we shoving out top. Seneko will come back to address that push. Radiance top tower is under attack. And the rest of the squad for chicken fighters though down bottom lane. Easy tier one, probably a tier two for them as they also hold ramps high ground here. Meepo keeping tabs of any Nigma advance. Under attack. Smoke up. Dyer's bottom Dyer team looking for a pick off. Mind control though. Is the hero to first fall. And Nigma now left wondering what they need to do to keep mind control in check. I had a similar pub experience a few days ago. Played against Rick. Like maybe? Bounty. Telekinesis lift into the Wii and Miracle jump, but a Winter's Curse does delay that aggression and allow Chicken Fighters to come in and react with a Winter's Curse stolen, turned back onto Charlie. The Chicken Fighters are still just concaving around this river area, holding on, making sure no one dies, no one gets caught up. So uh, 5v5 there, ending with you know, only really my control dying. So going back to my pub experience, I played against Ricky and Bounty Hunter, they were killing our carriers constantly until we decided, yeah, it's enough, man, we should just group up and go mid, and I think this should be applied here as well. They still have Aegis up and running for a minute and 30 seconds, chasing Bounty Hunter, giving Phantom Lancer more time. They're chasing Wheat, who does buy more time for them down bottom lane. Three heroes all around him. But no catch with a good blink out from Mars. And we he wants that BKB so very desperately. Razor down to six second duration on his. Meepo, Aegis for just under a minute now. E Blade, Silver Edge, and then back into the Scardi. Looks like he decided he wanted that Silver Edge first. Hunting for whoever's lurking up top. It is Kuroki's Sniper. 
Outpost grabbed by the Razor. Mind Control Bounty Hunter getting jumped by Suneko. And again with Sableite here, there's no chance to TP out. Well, what, what's MC's score? 413. <laughs> Is that what you were looking at as well? Yeah. <laughs> On the scale from 1 to 10. Like, how done is he? I think like, he's... He, he's 13. I, I think he is mentally done, you know? I think he has mentally checked out. That's what the MC stands for now. Sunray onto Supreme means that even with the stolen Winter's Curse, Rubik unable to grab a target and bring them down. And Chicken Fighters, five heroes strong. They are charging forward, looking to close this game out. Aegis reclaimed, though. Supreme puts the Wraith Band back in his inventory. 26 to 20. Net worth swing, what is that? From 7k lead that Nigma had, now up to an 8,000 lead in the hands of Chicken Fighters. But no high ground break, no real shove up onto these final objectives. Do you just wait for next Roshan now, Chicken Fighters? Hold some high grounds, keep the pressure going. Either you take one big team fight or you take one big Roche. You should keep fighting with Meepo. He is getting closer to Scotty. About to be like five slotted, needs one extra. Getting Hex after is the item to go for. MC looking for couriers. It's only got a couple of clarities on it. Five? That doppelganger cooldown is going to be a problem here. I can't wait to see this rapier this for Miracle. This is one of the weirdest games that I've seen in the, at least. Oh, hello. Here. They've jumped Kuroki. Good full staff. Kuroki still pummeled into the ground with buyback available, but we are forced to BKB with that Arena of Blood. Surrounding Supreme, holding that Aegis though. A Sableye looking for this reinitiation, forcing Miracle back with a doppelganger now. And the jump in from GH. Blink call. Meepo dragged back into the base with the E Blade, buying him a little bit of space and potentially allowing the poof out. No, GH shuts it down with a blink call from the Sableye Axe and the Supernova arriving from Era. And a great winner's curse. And they go fight Finally getting the combo they needed, they saved it, they didn't use it in game one, but here in game two they are destroying Nigma. The die back on the sniper now as we will buy back to return to the fight. Mind control, Miracle, focusing, focusing Era and Suneko, they will not get the weapon just yet, and the Era, Phoenix, has escaped. Meanwhile, you've got a Meepo from the, he's hitting going from wild behind. in your base. Supreme, beyond godlike. Aegis still in his hands, and Charlie on the low ground looking to bring down MC. Miracle is still fighting, but he's in a one versus three. Miracle, what can you do? Supreme's too strong. Sableye and Charlie are the perfect bodyguards for this Meepo. And Axe, he's got a chat wheel line for everything. Nigma on their last legs. For a miracle to play when the whole team is dead because they were really not helping him. Netty, netty, netty. Sable, I'm not going to get the blink call. He's got no mana left. Full lane of barracks, mid and bottom. As Meepo wants to swing top now and get the megas going for them. Chicken Fighters, 23k in the lead now. As Nigma. One chance remaining, really, it feels like. And Miracle, he was their only chance, but he's been netted and called and called into the ground. Sable Light, he's going to help bring him down. The doppelganger away. Miracle, no way! He can't escape from this. That is not allowed. Supreme giving chase. One more hit will do the trick. And the buyback from PL. Miracle rejoins the battle. And Mind Control just offering nothing in these fights. gone in 15 seconds. No team fight capabilities here from Nigma. Oh, Don't you're right. Nipo. They know. Don't kill Nipo. They know that Nigma knows. Nine seconds, eight seconds. They're chasing Supreme. They've got a track up on him. Miracle with the Phantom Rush forward. Supreme is so very low. A few more hits. Aegis is about to go. It's gone. Aegis got. Look at Miracle. He knows. He was waiting, but the cool. nice call. Sableye saves Viper. him, but there's Kuro all the way from base without assassinate. And Sableye's going to drop as well. They defend their base. One lane of rack still standing. And Nigma giving chase onto Era. Charlie's buyback. He's in the bloody base doing nothing with his Radiance Charlie, AC. Why did you use buyback? There's literally nothing you can do with the buyback. But man, they timed it perfectly. Spell Prism dropped. Give that to Sniper. Ah, can Nigma come out. back? Well, if Sniper gets this Octarine core... 
I'm not even kidding. It's such a strong spell. There's two seconds of stun. Miracle, how close is this Divine Rapier? Oh my god. Very close. Well, he's level 27 now. He went for the critical strike talent, not the doppelganger CD, so he is pumping out inordinate amounts of damage. This Phantom Lancer ready to go, and Mind Control, he has claimed the gem. No longer in the hands of the axe. Now Mind Control is the gem holder. And I think buybacks are going to be forced on mass here. Chicken fighters, Meepo 37 seconds, 30 on Axe. It looks like Phoenix will respawn in time to defend the base. But Seneco can't get caught. Doesn't have buyback. A yours up will give a little bit of time for the blink away. Seneco. Oh, that is a butt clenching moment. Toes curled up. Seneco. That's going to keep them alive. Keeps the tier three up. back. Enigma now pressuring onto three lanes. Top tier three taking a bit of chip damage from the catapults. Mid tier three repair kit is there as we clears out the tier two bottom and a massive wave coming in. Oh, Suneko with the axe. Sableite TPing to outpost. The jump in looking for Miracle. His rapier just delivered. Sableite's ready with the blink call onto two. Into the back. No, Kuroki sidesteps and dodges. Yules up into the air as Suneko on the high ground. He's trapped up here with the Wii Arena. And the Winter's Curse. It is there and ready, but he can't. He's dead with no buyback now. Charlie static link up on Miracle, but he's gonna run. Charlie has to run. Your Meepo's in trouble, trying to poof away from danger. Chicken fighters, they've thrown it all away. Nigma win one fight in their base, and they turn it around. My goodness gracious me, the stun! The assassinate stun! Meepo can't poof out, and he's done! Supreme's dead! He's got 100 seconds, but he can buy back. Six second cooldown with the spell prism on Sniper Ulti with almost two seconds duration. We're getting closer. Maximum memory from Kuroki. Went to Ivan, gone for 30 seconds. Meepo, he's going to have to buy back, surely. Your tier threes are being shredded by Miracle with that divine rapier. Titan Sliver back into his slot. as that ninja gear. Held in backpack. Roshan is alive. No one cares Roshan right now, though. Sableite, shadow bladed up. Brand new gem. But who's he going to jump? He's all alone. There's no one to back him up. Radiant and what's Roshan got? Aghanim Scepter. Attack. Quickly check that. Miracle. Sees Sableite. Oh dear. He gets stunned. A sniper dies. I mean, this rape is a lot of damage onto Wii. They do, with the Winter's Curse, bring down Wii. Dead for 80 seconds. Meepo jumping in as well, a bonus kill, why not? Chicken fighter striking back as the buybacks really have to clinch this game now. Sniper. Oh. That one was close. Sneaky. Sniper has enough to buy Oh. Octarine Core. Another spell prism. But for Roshan. Let's see the cooldown. Octarine Core. Ulti. 4.5 second cooldown. 4.5 with a 1.8 second stun. Roshan goes to chicken fighters though. Aghanim's cheese Aegis. Aghanim's there for the, the Meepo with the Aegis. On Tiny, I can't remember which Chinese team played it, but it was the first time I saw it. Octarine Core Tiny with Avalanche cooldown. You're like perma stunning people, life stealing off it. And the toss charges as well. Yes. Oh, I don't know. It's probably E-Home, right? I believe it was E-Home. <laughs> it's, it's always E-Home. It's always... It's always oh, hello, Sniper! From Great out. jump! And a Sableite Supreme combination. Dead for 80 seconds. Kuroki will not be able to offer you that 4.5 second cooldown assassinate because he is in the grave. 17 seconds on mind control as the final lane of barracks falls. Mega creeps are coming. And the tier fours are being pummeled. Chicken fighters, they need this game to end right now. Miracle still holding rapier. Smoked up with a ninja gear. Looking for that backstab with GH lurking as well. We from the north with mind control. Into Seneco they go. The catch from Sableite though stops the initiation in its tracks. As we are battling in the back while Miracle is being dealt with by Charlie and Supreme. The Phantom Lantern just can't get the job done now. We are on the run back to Fountain and Miracle he's got to go hide. 
Chicken Fighters surely have this one in the bag now. The chase, though. Charlie in trouble, stuck with all the illusions. Miracle, he's focusing him down. The Golden Braid from Suneko now, still holding the Winter's Curse and looking for that turnaround. Nigma, two heroes still down as we have dropped and GH follows. Winter's Curse catching on to uh, someone there as Miracle still battling in the midst of it all. But Supreme Save lights around him and Miracle, he doesn't have a leg to stand on. The Nets will come, trap him up, hold him in place. And Nigma losing out here in game two as Chicken Fighters stick it to the man with a supreme Meepo pick. Beautifully done. Suneko is on the back. run. Mind Control GH do get the snipe out on the wire, but the sniper's back, stunning up the Meepo, but they don't have the clear. They can't kill the Meepo, and surely the game will be called 44-31. Chicken Fighters with a 32 taking down Nigma and...